You know, it's said you, you're not going to figure out where you're going unless you know where you came from. Greetings in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If I think back, as far as I can remember, um, to Pastor Gardner as a kid, there's things I remember about him almost like you would remember a grandparent. Um, I couldn't tell you the first time I met him, he was always there. I was dedicated to the Lord by Pastor Gardner when I was three months old. And from that point until today, I've known him in some capacity as my pastor. I was talking to a pastor uh, just last week and we were telling stories about you know, different things that had happened in church years ago. And he was talking about um, an old minister by the name of John Jacobs who used to lead a group called the Power Team and his encounter with John Jacobs and he said that one time he was talking to John and he said, you know John, you travel all over the world, um, you're traveling all over the country, who do you really think is the best pastor um, in America today? And John Jacobs, you know, he said, you know, it's a, there's a guy you never heard of. He was uh, a little, um, has a little church in Troy, Michigan, but he is hands down the best preacher I've ever met in the country. And that was Pastor Leonard Gardner. I learned who the Holy Spirit was or how to know where the Holy Spirit was um, by watching the way that Pastor Gardner would teach us. So, for example, when, that, when I would feel a change in the atmosphere, and Pastor Gardner would say, well, the presence of God just came here. It would teach me that that feeling I was having in my spirit was the Holy Spirit. And recognizing that something was happening that was beyond their control, something that was greater than all of their ritual and all of their power. You know, Pastor Gardner is not the tallest man, but as a child, it was like a giant to me. And I can remember um, people saying things to me about, um, you know, prophetically about ministry in my future, but it was really always hard for me to even grasp the possibility of ministry. And even to this day, because to me, ministry will always look like Pastor Gardner. I'm thankful, Pastor, that my children know Jesus because I heard about him through you. Thank you, Pastor, for all you've done, for all your ministry, and for all your love. You've been a wonderful, wonderful support and friend to so many. God bless you. Happy 85th.